Doing something a bit different today. What I have here is a triple peak rake that came in uh, the very first pick set that I bought. It was one of those very, very cheap Amazon sets with uh, very, very cheap and thick picks. Uh, this, These peaks are incredibly sharp, and what I am going to try to do today is uh, sand them down a bit and try and get something um, a little bit similar to maybe like the, the Octo Rake, for example, on the Sparrows. Sparrow's lock pick site. So I'm going to put this in a clamp here. I've got a cloth here just because it's uh, it's too big for the clamp. So keeps it a bit more snug. And I've got safety glasses. Very important. And this is a, uh, a cheaper, cheaper hand rotary tool. And I've got, got a bit on here that I've tested on the bottom here. And it seems like it'll be okay for sanding this profile down. So just gonna tilt this back just the slightest bit so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, we'll get to work here. So, just to show what we're doing here, you can maybe see, ooh, that's hot. You can maybe see the difference here in those first two peaks now. If I bring this closer, it's not gonna take it. Okay, there we go. So that first peak is now quite rounded compared to the sharpness on those other two. So that's that's the basic premise here, and uh, we'll try try and get that on the other three and then see how it goes. Okay, so we're still a little bit sharper than I want in the second one. I might take a more precise tool here. So this one's just a bit smaller, smaller diameter. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, let's see if we can get this close up again. So those three are pretty rounded now and I just made sure I didn't have any sharp edges on the outside there. I'm also going to hit it with a bit of uh, sandpaper here real quick. So that's just some polish there. Uh, make sure we get this, come on, nice and shiny, there we go, alright, let's give it a whirl, I'm not very uh, experienced with, with using rakes per se, or rather at all, so this might be a bad test, but We'll try it out anyway for fun. I've got this Master Lock 3 here. And we will grab, I guess, this bottom of the QA here. Okay, so I did a bit of testing and I decided two things. First thing is I do not like how high the peaks are on here, or sorry, not the peaks, but the valleys. I would like the valleys to be a bit deeper and this back part I would like to shave a little bit more off of. So we're gonna try and do that. Sorry, I had to restart that. I realized my camera settings were all wrong. I think I'm gonna be using different pieces for this. This guy. Alright, 
So we're taking a bit off of the uh, the back side here. And I just want something a little bit wider for, for hitting these valleys because I want it to be smooth, which might just be this. to see but it's a little bit deeper and a little bit more round. I'm just gonna sand it down a bit again. All right let's uh, shove it back in the lock and see what happens. So back on the master lock number three here. It opened, so we did something. There you have it. I reprofiled this uh, piece of piece of metal garbage, and now now it's a reasonable rake. Just for fun, I grabbed a few other locks that McNally himself would be proud of, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try raking them open. I put a bit of tape on here just to give it a better grip. I put red tape on my rakes because they are bad, but I put purple tape around the red tape because I did a good job. This is a 141, and it will open if you put anything inside of here. Not really a testament to this rake itself. And this is a 130, which is actually higher security than the 141 somehow. There it is. And it's open. Two very cheap locks. A very cheap pick and a very cheap modification. Thanks for watching.